guys welcome to online web tutor i am sanjay we are learning level 8 framework tutorial this is our part number 85 inside this video we will discuss that how to customize markdown email template file now inside the last video we had sent an email to this email address and inside that as we can see that we have a predefined or pre-built email template so if i back to editor this is the template file what we had generated using markdown flag so the question we have in our mind is that how can we customize this email template if we want some additional information or in some cases if we want to put our image here that is our own image so how can we put that so for total customization guide go inside this laravel official website click on documentation inside this documentation click on digging deeper and inside this we have a mail tab so click on that here we have markdown malleables so if i click on that go here if i scroll this is all about our component guide as we can see that inside this template file here we have a component that is mail scope resolution operator and message another we have called component mail and button so inside this template file if we want to add our let's say more templates more components so here are a few examples of that so simply this is for the button component if we want to implement our panel component so simply copy this syntax go inside this documentation and let's say that before this thanks word we are adding a panel component so save all these changes go here and if i press enter to send an email mail sent successfully back to our gmail go here and if i type this as we can see that this is the panel content it means this is the panel what we have added by this panel component inside this markdown email template again go here here we have a table component so let's say that this is the table what we want inside this email so what we have to do simply copy this syntax go here before this thanks keyword this is the table what we want inside our email template right now these contains static values but if we want dynamic values simply pass from this controller go inside this test mail we can access via this details array and simply use for each loop inside this our markdown email template file so if we save all these changes go and reload this page mail sent successfully go and again back here this is the third email and inside this this is the panel and inside here we have a table so successfully now we are able to add more and more components inside this email template file again back to documentation this is the table component panel component here we have a button component and many more several things discussed inside this documentation now in some cases what we want we want our own image instead of this laravel logo it means we want to customize here if i back to editor go inside this email template file as we can see that we don't have any code to customize the image what we are getting inside email template so how can we get the code where we can replace our own image so first of all to customize the complete of this markdown email template file we need to publish a vendor folder what i mean if i back to documentation scroll down here we have the customizing components if we want to customize all the components right here as we can see that here we have one component second component third component fourth component and many more but inside each component we don't have any html 
If suppose in some cases, if we want to customize HTML element of any component, how can we customize that? So for that, we need to use a artisan command to first of all, means to publish a vendor folder. That vendor folder will be stored inside resources and views folder. Also, that vendor folder will contain all the HTML code of all these components what we have inside our email template. Inside that vendor folder also we'll get a file where we can customize the logo of the email template. So go here. First of all, we need to publish that. So copy this command back to terminal, close this development server. So before publishing, if I go to editor, go inside resources folder, views folder, we have only a bleed file and emails folder. So back to terminal, paste this command called php artisan vendor publish. Here we have a tag flag that is equals to laravel hyphen mail. So if I press enter, as we can see that our directory has been copied from this path means this is the code directory path to this resources, views, vendor and mail folder. So if I back to here, reload this page, here we have views and inside this views directory, here we have a vendor folder. Inside this vendor folder, another directory we have called a mail and inside this mail we have a HTML folder. Now as we can see that each component called button. Here we have a button.blade.php and this is the code actually what we are getting for a button component. Again, if we want to customize this panel, here we have a code called panel.blade.php. Right now, if we are interested to change the logo, go inside this header.play.php and right here as we can see that we have an URL of that image. So if I copy this URL, go and press enter and as we can see that this is the logo what actually we are getting right here inside this email. So if we want to change this email address means this logo, let's press Ctrl U and to use my logo of this blogging website to email template so copy this image i have copied from this blog back to editor and replace with that toggle word wrap so instead of that url i have changed from own url save all these changes go and press enter to send an email so first of all let's start our development server started go and reload this page mail sent successfully back to our email address here we can see that and right here now we have customized this is my logo this is the image what actually we have taken from this blogging website and put here now this image totally removed this default image what actually we are getting initially at markdown email templates now here as we can see that inside this email template here we have a table content area now if we want to customize this table simply go here as we can see that inside this markdown email template this is the static code what we had written if we want to customize simply go here here we have a table dot dot php and right here as we can see that we have a small code of html in some cases if we want to customize this button layout or if we want to customize any of the layout of this email template all the html actually we will get from this html folder mail folder and vendor folder so this is the complete guide guys about customization of markdown email templates simply customize this image template files and make it your own template to send an email to your clients to your products so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day